The nucleus ambiguus is a group of large motor neurons, situated deep in the medullary reticular formation. The nucleus ambiguus contains the cell bodies of nerves that innervate the muscles of the soft palate, pharynx, and larynx which are strongly associated with speech and swallowing. It is a region of histologically disparate cells located just dorsal to the inferior olivary nucleus in the lateral portion of the upper medulla. It receives upper motor neuron innervation directly via the corticobulbar tract. This nucleus gives rise to the branchial efferent motor fibers of the vagus nerve terminating in the laryngeal, pharyngeal muscles, and musculus uvulae, as well as to the efferent motor fibers of the glossopharyngeal nerve terminating in the stylopharyngeus muscle. Function The nucleus ambiguous controls the motor innervation of ipsilateral muscles of the soft palate, pharynx, larynx and upper esophagus. Lesions of nucleus ambiguous results in nasal speech, dysphagia, dysphonia, and deviation of the uvula toward the contralateral side. Pregangelionic parasympathetics to the heart also flow through the external formation of the nucleus. Areas supplied, the muscles supplied by the vagus, such as levator belli palatini, are also necessary to swallow properly through integration by the nucleus of the solitary tract. The vagus also supplies the upper part of the esophagus, and other parts of the pharynx and larynx. As well as motor neurons, the nucleus ambiguous in its external formation contains cholinergic pregangelionic parasympathetic neurons for the heart. These neurons are cardioinhibitory. This cardioinhibitory effect is one of the means by which quick changes in blood pressure are achieved by the central nervous system. That is, through integrated and antagonistic system with sympathetic outflow from the vasomotor center of the brainstem, the parasympathetic outflow arising from the nucleus ambiguous and dorsal motor nucleus of the vagus nerve acts to decrease cardiac activity in response to fast increases in blood pressure. The external formation of the nucleus ambiguous also sends bronchoconstrictor fibers to the bronchopulmonary system, which can produce reflexive decreases in pulmonary bronchial airflow. The pathophysiologic relevance of this system, which may act in concert with the cardioinhibitory system, is poorly understood, but likely plays a role in bronchospastic diseases like COPD emphysema and asthma, particularly for exercise-related asthma exacerbations, which may have a component of autonomic discolation. Additional images References External links Medical neurosciences discuss the nucleus ambiguous. Minus 1,664,090,053 at Knotebook.